Hello, and welcome to this first video in our series on Apsona's document generator add-on. So in this video, I'll show you something really simple in that a bare minimum document that's being generated using data from your Salesforce uh, org. Here's a sample document that we want to generate. It's a simple opportunity summary document, which is generated one for each opportunity. It shows us the, the, the company that gave us the opportunity, the city in, the, in which the company is located, the state, and then the opportunity information, the name of the opportunity, the value of the opportunity, and the close date of the opportunity. What we want to do is generate a series of opportunity summary documents, one for a bunch of, one for each of the opportunities we're interested in for this particular demo. So uh, in order to do that, what we'll have to do is set up a template which contains the, the layout of all of the features here, you know, the header, the caption at the top, the, the, the rule at the bottom and so on, and then the, the specific layout of the, of the fields in here. And then what we'll do is use that template to generate data, to generate documents using the data from Salesforce. So let's go off into uh, AppSona and first look at the template itself. So that we already have a template available. Uh, go into Epsona here. Templates are stored in the Salesforce document object. So we'll go into documents and we'll look at that template. This here, opportunity summary template. Let's uh, download that template. It's, it's basically just another Word document, nothing special about a, uh, a template. It, let's enable editing here and you can see for yourself, if you look at this side by side, you see that it's got the exact same layout, except that in places where we've got data filled in from Salesforce, we have placeholder fields that indicate the nature of the data, the kind of data that goes in there. So for example, we have account name here as a placeholder for the account name and city as a placeholder for city and so on. Notice that uh, the, the placeholder field names can be of either of two variants, you can use uh, delimiters with double angle brackets around them like this, or you can use a regular word merge field like this one. If you hit edit field, you can see that it is a standard word merge field that you can produce using the insert quick parts mechanism. So this is what the template looks like. And what will happen is we will fill this, uh, this these fields in the document that's generated with the data values from Salesforce. So let's see how we can do that. In order to produce those documents, we will first need to create a report that produces the data that feeds into these fields. So essentially, we'll need to create a report that produces these six fields, the name of the opportunity, the dollars, the close date, and then the name of the account to which the opportunity belongs, the city and state of the account. So we will create that kind of a report first in Epsona. So let's go into Epsona here and go into opportunities and reports. And let's make a new report uh, and call it, let's call it a doc gen sample one. As far as fields are concerned, as we saw, we needed six fields. Uh, the amount is one of them, which is a dollar value from the opportunity object. Uh, uh, the close date, the date of the close date is another one. Uh, the name of the opportunity is another one. And then from the account side, we need the name of the account, the billing city of the account. I just click on the field and it shows up on the right side. And then the billing state of the account. Uh, th given those fields, we can produce the, the report, but let's also filter the report so that we only get uh, those opportunities that have account to the billing city and state. So we'll go into the account uh, billing city and ask for it to be not empty and add another term that says account billing state uh, and ask for it to be not empty. So now if we save and run this report, you see that we've got 30, we got 33 records, the 33 opportunities that have all of those uh, fields filled out. Um, let's rearrange this so that the name shows up at the left end, edit this report, uh, move the opportunity name to the left and then save and run. Notice that the order of the fields in the report really doesn't matter. We can have it in whatever order we, are, we want and we will still be able to create the appropriate merge action. So the next thing to do is create, uh, is hit the merge mail button. 
to create a merge action. So a merge action is the thing that contains all of the data, all of the attributes, actions, et cetera, that it needs to remember in order to run the, the merge and produce the document. So the first thing we'll do is create and run a new merge action. We, we don't have an existing one, so we'll create a new one. And its, it's type is document merge. So we, we're gonna be producing docx. And then we hit next. Uh, and here in this panel, we're asked uh, where the template is. We support Google Docs as well as Salesforce documents. So let's just use Salesforce documents. We use this one, the one that we just looked at. Uh, the output format, we want to be docx. Uh, the output structure, let's say, will be a single file with page breaks. And let's hit next. And at this point, what happens is, Upsana goes out to Salesforce, pulls in the document template, and then looks at it and picks apart the template to find the fields in it, the template merge fields, and shows each of the fields uh, along, the, along the left side, along with a chooser that lets us map the fields to the fields in the report. Since we're running this merge from the report, it knows what fields are available from the report. And since we've already identified the document template, it knows what fields it found in the template, and we now need to line them up. So notice that means also that when creating the template, we don't really need to pay attention to any particular naming convention as far as field names. So these names were totally arbitrary. We just made them up when we made the template. So that's unlike several of the other vendors out there you'll see where which require very specific naming conventions. So we're gonna be mapping the template field names to the fields in the report. So let's say uh, account name maps to account name, close date maps to close date, op name maps to the name, city maps to billing city, dollars maps to amount, and state maps to billing state province. And then hit next. Um, we'll have a bunch of logging options here that we can set if we want to. Let's call the document merge action doc gen sample one, and then save and run and it finished it and let's download the results and save it and take a look at it. And you can now compare what we found here uh, with what's in the template. You see that uh, if you let's close off this uh, uh, pop up and you see that the template that's the, that the results that it produced are basically the same as what's in the, uh, in the report here. So we've got one page for each uh, each record in the report. So there's Edge Communications, one, one page. Next page contains Grand Hotels. The third page contains another Grand Hotels and, and so on. So that's the finished Word document. Thank you for watching this first uh, demo. We will have additional demos illustrating more features of uh, Epsonos Document Generator. Have a good day.